Welcome to SEMA Central. I'm Kevin Osti here at the 2017 SEMA show in Las Vegas. And uh, joining me now is Mr. Rich Barsamian. And Rich, you're the chairman of SEMA Cares. That's correct. Tell me what SEMA Cares is. So SEMA Cares is a volunteer organization through the SEMA network. And what it is, is it's different volunteers throughout this whole SEMA organization, you know, whether it's members or it's uh, factories, they're all helping in some sort of way. And we give back to three children's charities. One is Child Help, which helps abuse children. The other one is Victory Junction, which is a camp for kids that are either really sick or unable to go because of an illness and they're allowed to camp for a week for free with their families and just be a kid, mm -hmm. okay? And then the other one is the Austin Hatcher Foundation, which is uh, basically for pediatric cancer uh, and that, so. That's outstanding. Um, you said the magic word for me is camping. I love camping. And uh, I can only imagine the, uh, the benefits of uh, the therapeutic benefits of being able to do that opportunity. Oh, absolutely, yeah. These kids come out of this thing and you know, you can imagine they're confined and they're not able to do certain things and in that environment they get to just be a kid again, which yeah, is yeah, amazing. Yeah, it's great. Okay, so you said that uh, this uh, SEMA Cares kind of spans all of the different aspects of the SEMA organization and membership and whatnot. Um, what types of things do you do to uh, raise the funds for these charitable donations? Right, so that's a great question. What we've done, uh, we have an annual event every year called the Pinewood Derby, which happens at the Installation Gala every year. And this year we're excited because uh, we started a new Industry Cup Challenge, which was five WDs, five sales reps, five manufacturers, five service providers, and five media. We were able to raise over $40,000 for SEMA Caris this year with that new event, and it was amazing. Holy cats. Yeah. Um, I have seen... Uh, some still photos in the SEMA News magazine about this Pinewood Derby event. Tell me about it because it looks like it's fun. So the Pinewood Derby is amazing. We actually go to the child help uh, villages and we build these cars. Austin Hatcher builds cars and uh, Victory Junction builds cars and the children build these cars. And, um, and then it, we can have people buy cars, they can buy cars, they can um, buy cars that kids made. Mm -hmm. you know whatever they want to do and that all raises money for SEMA Cares. And when I was a kid um, you know and you're in the in the Boy Scouts near the Pioneer Derby and you know the way it was supposed to go back then is a kid was supposed to be building the thing himself um, and you had a lot of help from people and you carved something and it you know it looked like something that nobody would want to buy. Um, <laughs> I've seen some of these uh, uh, race cars and this is some of the top fabricators and, and craftsmen in the industry making some really cool stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Some of it is unbelievable when you yeah. see what they put into it. They go all out. Yeah, and it, it definitely gives them something interesting to take home if, if uh, uh, somebody wanted to purchase one of those as a fundraiser. Absolutely. So uh, anything else big on the calendar as a fundraising operations? Absolutely. We've got several vehicles that are being auctioned off this year uh, at, over the next two years. And uh, WD-40 has sponsored the Bronco, the 67 Camaro. Um, we've got a variety of vehicles. And that's really where the, the, the main thrust of the, of the fundraising comes from is these auctions. We're, we're lucky to, to be able to go and to get into Barrett-Jackson and auction these vehicles off. Um, one is slated for January of this year coming up. And um, it, it's pretty amazing. In the WD-40 booth, they've got that Bronco right now that they're building uh, for the 2019 year. Oh, right on. Yeah, exactly. Now, today we live in a world um, where sometimes uh, people have to be a little bit cautious about who they give to. Uh, tell me about the, uh, the effectiveness of a donation in the SEMA Cares arena. Oh, well, yeah. The great part about that is all those funds go directly to the different charities. So we don't hold anything back. We never want to hold anything back from those kids. So anything that's raised goes straight to those kids and those charities. Love and it. And that is the way to go. Absolutely. Well, listen, Rich, it was a pleasure talking to you about this. Where can somebody find out more about how to get involved or, or even donate? Basically, go to the SEMA, uh, SEMA.org site and put in SEMA Cares, and we have a mini page right there, and the amazing thing is, for the first time ever, people can donate 24-7, 365 at the SEMA Cares site. So if they feel like putting something down, they can do it. Everybody here at the show has a little mini computer in their pocket or purse. It's an easy way to make that donation and help us, and we greatly appreciate it. 
Excellent, excellent. So what are you waiting for? Check out SEMA Cares and uh, give so we can continue to help these highly worthwhile charities and do it all through the industry that uh, has helped all of us so much. I'm Kevin Osti from SEMA 2017.